Carl, why are we up here? I wanted to show you something. Okay. I think this is it. Oh, here it is. in here somewhere. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, here it is. This is the story of my great ancestor, Lorena. I think it is important for you to know how to stand up for yourself and to fight even when it's hard. This book is a perfect example of that. June 6th, 1598. King Garrett was oppressing the people of the land with high taxes and arresting the people for the smallest of offenses. A law was passed decreeing that the common people couldn't train with a sword, bow, or, or other weapons, weapons, for we would have, to, we rely would have on the to rely on the guards to protect us. I was terrified of the choices I had to make after my mother died and the responsibility that came along with it. But I knew what she wanted me to do. You shouldn't have given away your position. Are you kidding? Adrian would have shot you. I had it under control. The arrows aren't even sharp. Well, at least I care for your safety. Listen to me. We're in war. No one cares about anyone. Nor does anyone care about us. We only have each other. We cannot trust anyone except us. Let's just go back. There was just the three of us. After the new law was passed, we started using our skills to train each other up. We were the outcasts. I was determined to change the law that put a chain on my freedom and killed my mother. June 10th, 1598. It had only been 10 years since my mother had died. I never knew my father. I have been struggling with my inner conflicts, lost in the thoughts of my own mind. Why did mother have to die? Why couldn't King Garrett have enough soldiers to stop the marauders? Why did my father never come for us? I had so many questions, and nobody seemed to have any answers. I was training early the next morning when I came across something that wasn't there before. me, but I'm Gabriel. Gabriel? Wow, I, I can't believe you're alive. Not just any. This is a symbol of hope, of freedom. The king, when he was enthroned, banned it. You are very brave, my daughter.
You killed my mother. Why did you do it? You don't understand. I, I loved your mother more than anything. I was part of the King's Guard. And your mother was afraid of the King, so she would planned to run away. She left in the middle of the night with you because I refused to go with her. Father? Reina. I knew where she was going, so I followed her so I could bring her back home where it was safe. I found her the next morning with a knife in her chest. I tried saving her, but it was too late. She was gone. I looked around, but no one was near. So I went back to work for the king because I had nothing left here after she died. Whoever killed her must have killed you too. When the king declared the law that common people couldn't fight, the guards took a great number of taxes, saying it was for their own good. But after a while, the people were in poverty, and they begged the king for bread. In his exchange, if they worked for him, they would get every meal. So that's what I did. I knew he was going to wipe out entire villages at a time. And so that's when I came to look for you, in hopes that you were still alive. I wish I had listened to her when I had the chance. I'm so sorry. This is a symbol of hope and of freedom. And I placed them throughout the forest so that you could find your way here. I've come to warn you, Adrian is not who you think he is. <coughs> Adrian, he's part of the, he's part of the King's Guard. Father? Father? It all happened so fast. I couldn't comprehend anything. But I recognized the arrow on my father's back to be Adrian's, and I couldn't believe that after everything we'd been through, that he'd be the one to kill my father. By the time I'd realized what happened, Adrian was gone. We never saw him after that. No one knows where he disappeared to. I mourned my father's death. We buried him under an old oak tree next to my mother's grave. I wept bitterly for him. My sorrow was great for him. We trained and recruited more members day by day. We continued training, fighting, and preparing for the battle we knew was coming. Our hope is to one day overthrow the king and take back the freedom we once had. It is done, my king. Very well. And the girl? <laughs> <laughs>